everybody, this is Butch Grimes, The Cooking Bachelor. I'm excited, I got a new dish. I don't know how I came up with this one, just hit me one day and said, you know when I was making those turkey necks, I thought, I think I'm gonna add something to it. Because little did you know, and I don't think I posted it, I made some brown gravy, which was great. And then I also made some cornbread, some hoe cakes and uh, they were just wonderful. But I'm gonna do something a little different today which I think will be a lot of fun. And it's gonna be right on time because of the season. The season to be merry. We're gonna do eggnog cornbread. I know, it sounds a little different, but you know, I wanted to try something different. So today, I'm gonna actually walk you through it because I, every time I do the shows, folks always say, Butch, Give me the recipe step by step, slowly, eggnog cornbread. Yes, I said eggnog cornbread. The first thing I like to do is I like to spray my, my little bowl. This makes things slide out a little better. Okay, so we're gonna do our one cup of flour. And then we're gonna do our one cup of cornmeal. So we got a cup of cornmeal, okay. And with that, we're gonna do uh, two teaspoons of baking powder, okay? Two teaspoons. One, two. Boy, it feels funny doing this because I'm so used to, uh, I'm so used to not, you know, just adding stuff together. So now we got uh, sugar. Now I'm going to be using. Let me let me let me come over here, real quick, and kind of let you know. You know, I'm going to be using. Ooh, I think I pulled my arm out a little. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, I'm feel better now. I'm going to be using some brown sugar. Uh, with this because I like the brown sugar. It's going to give it a little more body and uh, I think it's going to you're going to like that a lot better. So we're going to be adding a little brown sugar in there. And actually we're going to be adding about a half a cup of brown sugar. Eh, maybe a little more. Ah, put it down. Pour it on. Okay, so we got that now. And then uh, we're gonna do about a half a teaspoon of salt. Boom. Got that. And we got a half a teaspoon of salt. We got our sugar. And then we're gonna add some buttermilk. We're gonna add three quarters of a cup of buttermilk. And we got our buttermilk right here. We got our measuring cup right here. And we're gonna do three quarters of a cup. There it is, right there. Perfect. I like this. I like this measuring by cup. I never did this. I'm usually just doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, so now we got that. We're gonna add one cup of eggnog. Yes, eggnog. So you gotta put that one cup in there. And now we need one third cup of water. One third cup of water. And now we need two eggs. And what we're gonna do with those two eggs is we want to have, we want to beat those eggs. So there's one, there's two. We're gonna take them, beat those eggs up real good. those in there. Okay. 
So now we've done all of that. And our last, our last thing is we need about two tablespoons of butter. Nice melted butter. Everything tastes better with butter. Bam. And guess what? I think we're ready to rock. So now let's go and mix this baby up. Matter of fact, I'll let you come down and take a peek. Take a look. Yeah. And then one last thing we're gonna add. Is we're gonna add some corn. We're gonna add about a half a cup of that good old corn. Just a little more. Yeah. Now we're gonna mix it up. Woo, this looks good. This is looking really, really, really good. I think you like this. It smells delicious. The eggnog it smells really good in there. simple and you can get so creative today like I said we're gonna use eggnog only because of the season we're gonna try something different but I think it's gonna come out great have I done this recipe before of course not but today you got it you guys are gonna also share with me for the first time so this is gonna be good so we're ready to go and we're ready to now take and put it in the pan so let's go on over to the stove and see what that looks like. I think you're gonna like it. We're back. All right, so now. Back it up. For those of you that like to live dangerously, I thought about it. Eggnog, hoe cakes, cornbread, eh, it's good. And you're gonna see, it comes out great. But for those of you that like to live dangerously, we're gonna add something to that. Jalapenos. Diced jalapenos. So we're gonna put some jalapeno in your in the batter. Eggnog. Ooh. Here we go. We're gonna live dangerously now. Let's mix those babies up. Now, it's time to go to the stove. Check this out. You know, I just started feeling bad, especially for those that really like that extra hit. So that's why I went to the jalapeno. So now we got two nice whole cakes that we're putting together. We got the jalapeno and we got the regular. But we're gonna start out here with the ones with those good old jalapenos in it. And we're gonna drop those in. Oh boy. Don't throw baby good. Come over and take a look. Wanna see? Come on. That 
and look wonderful. Delicious! We're gonna let them cook a little, not long, and then we're gonna flip them over. Good old H2O. And I think we're gonna be ready to roll. So, keep putting you down a little, let you check it out. So here we go, let's flip them. Oh, oh yeah. That baby looks good, let's try this other one. There you go. We're done. See how fast that went? Check that out. Not just your regular whole cake, but this is a jalapeno whole cake with eggnog. Wonderful. Let's try it out. Woo! Man, that's good. Boy! Mmm, mmm, mmm. And if you want, have a little egg knock with it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is a great dish for any time throughout the day. Early morning, late in the evening. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I'm sorry. Take a peek at that. Oh. The nice thing about it is, you guys did these with me for the first time. I never cooked them before. It was just a bright idea. So that just tells you, if you think about it, go for it. If you think about it, try it out. You never know what may come out. Oh, I didn't know you guys were still here. Hey, it's one thing to cook, but it's another thing you gotta keep it clean afterwards. And you can see, I love making sure my kitchen is back to normal, nice and clean. 